Now, when a man is sick, he develops a certain resistance to the microbes that infected him. This principle gives us the weapon of vaccines. We grow the microbes of certain diseases in great quantity and then make them harmless. When we place the harmless material in the body, the tissues develop their resistance to the microbes without contracting the disease. With this weapon, we can immunize any number of people against illnesses like smallpox, diphtheria, polio, It was found that some microbes produce substances which are poisonous to disease microbes. It was this that led to the antibiotics, like penicillin. These antibacterial drugs give us, for the first time, materials that will kill microbes in the body without killing the patient. Look. Some of them simply stop the disease microbes from growing further. Others distort them into strange long forms, cause them to disintegrate, like this. No wonder there are now factories all over the world mass producing these antibacterials, because they've affected a medical revolution. To a doctor working miles from anywhere, they offer something he can use against infections he couldn't touch before. <laughs> 